But first, let's check in with Nikki and all of those crazy Vista fans out in the rain. Nikki. It's great, I've been one for four years. It's the best four years ever. Let's go! All right, you guys! They're taking on their crosstown rivals, Rancho Buena Vista Longhorns. You guys, who's gonna win tonight? Vista! Vista! All right, you guys, I know you guys are out here every single game along with the band. Tell me really quickly, what do you guys expect for next week? Are we gonna have a win? Nikki, Vista leads the series against Rancho Buena Vista 15-8, winning the last three seasons. Rancho Buena Vista is in a tough spot because they lost 14 games going all the way back to last season. Do the RBV Longhorns make a long-awaited victory? Well, you have to stay tuned for the highlights. Let's set them free. Deep in the Vista wilderness, the Panthers band got them riled up for a wild ride. In the first quarter, the head Panther running back Jacob Bedford says, Longhorns, don't mess with me, as he forces them out of his way and blazes to the cave, making sure he leaves his mark. This puts the Panthers on top. To the second, are you ready for double the trouble? Because Bedford sure is, and he's back again. He goes in for another touchdown and accumulates 126 total rushing yards, 14-3 Vista. Midway in the third, the Panthers keep their lead going. The Longhorns' Alex Morris says, actually, I'll take over from here with his 102-yard interception, the second longest touchdown in RBV history. And he's untouchable, charging all the way home, 21-10 Vista. Late in the third, the Panthers' Andrew Williams darts right into the bullseye. Rancho Buena Vista just couldn't tame these fierce Panthers. Final score, 28-10 Vista. And the championship cup, remains in the Panthers' den. Well, there you have it. Vista continues to lead the series 16-8, and they take the Championship Cup home. John and Corinne, back to you at the PSL Studios. Well, it looks like those Vista fans rooted their team on for yet another victory.